Miao has traveled through. Also being deceived by an old beggar to worship him as his teacher. That's all, the spirit root she tested was clearly a highly gifted mutant thunder spirit root, but reality ten minutes of water induced successful entry. A month ago, Miao was introducing air into the body three months of water immersion caused it has been three years since entering the first layer of gas refining, and then there is no further progress, so Mizwa directly chooses to put it to waste. As a result, she was flaxed and flaxed, relying on her own crow mouth, she became the crow fairy of the cloud-seeking realm. He also punched the evil lord to death. With a face full of collapse, Tian Dao said, No, how did you sneak in and steal my son's job? Keywords of the novel After the salted fish is rotten, the cultivation world is revitalized by the crow's beak without a pop-dot-up window. After the salted fish is rotten, the cultivation world is revitalized by the crow's beak. Download the full text. After the salted fish is rotten, the cultivation world is revitalized by the crow's beak. Read the latest chapter. Chapter 1 Pretty pretty little girl, why is her heart so malicious? You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 1 Pretty pretty little girl, why is her heart so malicious? Meow has traveled through. Wearing it and becoming a little beggar. Three years ago, he was deceived by an old beggar to worship him as his teacher. And yesterday, this unscrupulous master threw her down the mountain and sent her to experience. You know she's only nine years old. Damn stinky old man, I want to report you for exploiting minors. Junior sister. The cold voice was somewhat stumbling and hesitant, as if unsure of what to say. After a while, he finally managed to hold back a sentence. Don't be angry with master, master. It's also for your own good. Moonlight turned over, with a paralyzed face, as she looked at the little girl who had spread a salted fish cake on the back of the flower pig, her eyes twitching slightly. He doesn't know where the junior sister got it from, such a unique. Spiritual pet anyway, she takes it with her wherever she goes. Although he has seen it many times, he still finds it difficult to accept. Meow Meow pouted and didn't move. No, that stinky old man clearly wants to exhaust her and swallow her spirit stone alone. Seeing her like this, there was no expression on her face, but helplessness seemed to flash in her eyes. They were speechless all the way, and as the sun rose to its center, their destination arrived. Forest of Ten Thousand Demons Junior Sister, we have arrived at the place. Due to your cultivation, the sect task I have assigned you is the simplest. Junior Sister only needs to pick fifty plants of living herbs from the outer Mingwe Lake, and Senior Brother will come to pick you up at that time. My master said that we need to exercise our Junior Sister's enthusiasm, so I will help take care of her spiritual pet first. The words of the Moon Scar were both fast and urgent, even before Long Miao could react, he waved his hand, took Long Miao's spiritual pet, and threw the mission token to her, as if there were ghosts chasing after her, and there was no one left in a flash. Yu Miao, who had just fallen off his butt, grinned in pain and rolled his eyes as he looked at the back of his second senior brother, who was riding in the dust. Good guy, how detestable her face is to scare second senior brother like this. The golden flame swallowed and licked the roasted golden rabbit meat with its tongue, dripping oil stains into the flames, making a sizzling sound. A strong aroma rushed in, and the white and tender little hand eagerly pulled away a rabbit leg. Good fragrance Meow Meow squinted her eyes with a small expression of enjoyment, while beside her was a task token casually thrown on the ground. If you ask her to do a task, a little girl with oily lips will only close her eyes and throw three words at you, impossible. Xiao Miao, who had eaten and drunk enough, felt a little drowsy. She glanced at the place where she was, green grass and a small stream beside her. The environment is good and suitable for sleeping. She yawned and fell asleep. Senior sister, quickly throw the snake egg over. A huge snake tail came from behind, and Zhu Zhu's face turned white. With a chaotic plan, he followed the words and threw the snake egg in his hand. 
Just she got lost the entire snake egg flew in a parabolic shape towards her side in front. With a loud bang accompanied by a curse, Meow Meow was directly awakened by the impact. It's really a disaster that comes from heaven. Xiao Meow has a strong morning sickness, which is very serious. She stood up expressionless, holding the snake egg in her hand, which was like a stone. Who threw it? That's what she wanted to ask. Just a voice but one step faster than her. The snake king is her, it's this little girl who made us steal your snake eggs. We were threatened by her. Her master is an extremely poor ancestor who said he's not afraid of you at all. If you dare to chase after her, let her master peel you, cramp you, fry and steam you. Zhu Zhu, dressed in red, had a pale complexion and a beautiful and aggressive appearance. However, at this moment, her fingers were pointing towards Yao Miao and her eyes were full of malice. She had met Yao Miao, even with just one glance, three years ago, but she remembered it. She detested this face to the extreme. The Snake King's intelligence is not high, and it does indeed have a grudge against the poor ancestor, and its child is still in the hands of that little child today. So, it abandoned all the disciples of the Hahuan sect and aimed its target at Mizwa. The cold pupils turned into a vertical line, sharp fangs shimmered with a chilly cold in the sunlight, and crimson snake venom occasionally swallowed out. The hatred value was transferred, and Zhu Zhu breathed a sigh of relief. She looked at the water with pride. Dragging two legs that had softened into noodles, he quickly met up with other disciples of the Hahuan sect. Let's go quickly. Glancing at the direction they were leaving, Mizumi withdrew her gaze. Spit out a sentence with unclear meaning. You spit so happily, be careful not to bite your tongue. Just then, the eyes of the golden dragon snake widened, and the whole body fell to the ground, twisted into fried dough twists. The painful hissing shook the mountains and fields, and even the running disciples of the joyous sect could not help shaking their bodies. The golden dragon snake is a very special type of snake, its poison can not only poison enemies but also poison itself. Ah, I've made you be careful. Look, this is the end of your disobedience. Miao came to the side of the golden dragon snake and tapped its head with the snake egg in his hand. The eyes of the golden dragon snake widened, and it felt danger in this human body. The strange power just now made it a bit hesitant to act recklessly. Of course, even if it is poisoned, it is powerless. Miao Miao squinted her eyes and smiled innocently. Little snake, let's make a deal. In a valley a male disciple dressed in white frowned with a hint of hesitation on his expression. Senior sister, are we really good like this? Is that little girl just now really a disciple of poor ancestor? If poor ancestor finds out, we... Shut up, we just escaped from Shiko, where did we see any little girl? Oh, this senior sister hasn't seen me, but I have seen senior sister. A pretty little girl, why is her heart so cruel? A cute and soft voice came into my ears, leaving me stunned. Zhu Zhu's face suddenly changed and he turned around suddenly. What caught the eye were the huge python and the one sitting leisurely on its head, damn girl, how could you not have died? This dead snake is so useless. What kind of magic did she use? You're not even dead, dead girl. I'm so beautiful and kind. How could I snatch the spot for death, said Zhu Miao, looking down at Zhu Zhu from a high position, stinky beggar, who are you talking about? Zhu Zhu's eyes widened and his face twisted with anger. Instead, it was a tactic of looking back on Mizwa Cho. Her gaze was disdainful. This ugly senior sister, I'll tell you whether it smells bad or not, but don't you really feel like you have a slight smell on yourself? Miao Miao's fingertips slowly pointed to the corner of Zhu Zhu's skirt. At this moment, there was a gust of wind blowing over Zhu Zhu, and an indescribable smell immediately rose up, rushing into everyone's nostrils. Nausea, nausea, a series of vomiting sounds rang out, and the three disciples of the Huan sect who were originally surrounded by Zhu Zhu quickly retreated to the side, covering their noses. 
His face turned green as if he had swallowed a few flies. Zhu Zhu's body froze and saw an indescribable amount of filth on his hem. The new book is online, welcome to collect and subscribe to it, little one's reading instructions. 1. This book is favored by the group 2, the female lead's golden fingers are powerful 3, the male lead lacks a strong sense of presence 4, whether there is a deputy CP depends on the situation, end of this chapter. Chapter 2. The Killer Continuously Kills. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 2. The killer continuously kills, ah, 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 the sharp and piercing voice startled the three souls of the person, who had lost their seven souls. Even the golden dragon snake trembled with fear. Only Xiaomiao was prepared to cover her ears. With a cold gaze, he glanced at the golden dragon snake. If you drop me, don't want your eggs anymore. The body of the golden dragon snake suddenly froze. I vomited my snake venom and wanted to express my dissatisfaction, but it dared not. This human cub is just a devil. Zhu Zhu has performed several cleaning techniques on herself in a row, but she still feels an indescribable smell on her body. The cold gaze contained a murderous aura, and as she stared at Yen Miao, she was already furious. Little bitch, I'll kill you. The fiery long whip, carrying a fierce wind, rushed towards the vast expanse of water. Don't exert so much force. If you accidentally hit yourself, it won't be good, especially if you hit your face. It's already ugly. If you leave a scar, you won't have the face to see anyone, said Yao Miao with her hands wrapped around her chest and her head tilted in a soft and obedient voice alas, it's rare to see such a good person like me. Zhu Zhu's hand trembled and the whip she had swung inexplicably hit a nearby stone. The tail of the whip spun around, and she was caught off guard and slapped in the face. Ah, my face. Zhu Zhu's hands trembled as he wanted to touch his face, but he dared not. The bloody whip marks, terrifying from the right eyelid to the left corner of Zhu Zhu's mouth, startled all the disciples of the Hahuan sect. Senior Sister Three male disciples quickly gathered around. What kind of magic did you use on my senior sister, cheap girl? One of the male disciples came forward. He had an ordinary appearance, but he had a heart that admired his senior sister. Now, watching her suffer so much, he felt heartbroken. Well, you're really cheap. Hurry up and make a licking dog, be careful not to become a dog one day. Miao saw the scene just now where this male disciple approached to ask for warmth and was fiercely pushed away and cursed. She couldn't help but sigh in her heart. Lick the dog, lick the dog until the end with nothing. Lin, junior brother Lin, your face. The strange exclamation made Zhu Miao's gaze fixed on the face of junior brother Lin. Brother Lin is the licking dog she just sighed about. But at this moment, Yen Miao's gaze was somewhat unbelievable. I'll go, what is this? Dog-headed people. Miao's gaze was strange. Just now, in front of her was an ordinary-looking young man, but now it had turned into a dog-headed man with a dog's head on his head. No, is her crow mouth function something she's seen for? Surprisingly able to turn people into dogs. What is the principle behind this horse riding? Yao, Lin Jr. brother is actually a member of the Yao tribe. The remaining two male disciples of the Hahuan sect had wide eyes, filled with fear, and their trembling bodies retreated backwards. Then they didn't care about Zhu Zhu, the senior sister they placed on the tip of their hearts, and ran away in a flash. For the two fleeing figures, Zhu Miao only glanced at them, sighed, and a low voice drifted out of her mouth. Hey, these two young men are not obedient at all. Running out can be very dangerous. They accidentally run into a tiger, get chased by a killer bee, fall into the lake, be chased by a crocodile, and be bitten by a piranha. That would be so tragic. Words were blown up by the wind and drifted far and wide, scattered in fragments. The two fast runners couldn't help but shiver. The body of the golden dragon snake king stiffened like a corpse. 
It felt that eerie force again. Junior Brother Lin only regained his senses at this moment. His hand touched his face and he realized that he had taken on his original form. He didn't dare to turn back, afraid that his beloved senior sister would look at him and dislike him. He looked fiercely at Xiao Miao. The ferocity was aroused, and a low growl of threat was emitted from the throat. Lin, don't you like me? As long as you kill her, I agree to be with you. Suddenly, a body leaned over with a seductive sound, making junior brother Lin feel dizzy and disoriented. Brother Lin's eyes were covered with obsession, but his face was full of madness. Okay, senior sister, wait a minute, I'll kill her now. The phrase, kill a lowly girl and you can be with your senior sister, made the dog-headed person who had lost his mind come straight to a big transformation into a living person, ah, ah, a living dog. The clothes were torn apart, and a two-meter tall brown dog appeared in place. Well, it's just an ordinary local dog. Meow Meow touched her chin. The only difference is that it is overdeveloped, relatively tall, and can transform. Wang Wang. The crimson gaze seemed to tear apart the vast expanse of water, and the massive body leaped up. Zhu Zhu's eyes were excited. Don't believe this demon tribe can't kill you. What's wrong? What's so fierce? You'll transform into something amazing. You're tall, you're amazing. You're just a little dog. Miao pursed her lips, her eyes gloomy as she stared at her four long legs, and suddenly stood up from the snake's head. Holding a large hammer in his hand, he struck the dog's head repeatedly. Until the originally two-meter tall long-legged dog was hammered to the size of a palm. Miao nodded in satisfaction, still looking at her like this. Zhu Zhu never expected that things would develop like this. She gave a disdainful glare at the dog the size of a slap on the ground and cursed, no waste. Looking up at Yao Miao, with a long blood-red scar on his face. Although she is not very smart, she is not really brainless. So many accidents happened one after another, making her realize that this dead girl is a bit of a cult. She also had some palpitations in her heart at this moment. Make up your mind and let this dead girl go for now. Damn girl, this time you're lucky. Miss, I'll let you go for now. The next time we see you, it's your deadline. Zhu Zhu wants to leave, but how could Xiao Miao let her leave? Although Xiao Miao crossed over from the Blue Star in the 22nd century during the peaceful era, she is not kind and always seeks revenge. If someone wants to kill herself, she naturally wants to return it. Senior sister, have you ever heard a saying? Those who kill will always be killed. You want to kill me? Zhu Zhu suddenly looked up with a sharp voice. Senior sister, why did you say this? It's not that I want to kill you, it's just that my snake brother hasn't eaten for several days. Senior sister is so good dot looking and has such a malicious heart. So please help me save my snake brother's five organs temple. Xiao Miao got off the head of the golden dragon snake and patted it. Snake brother, go ahead. This little beauty is so kind to help, you must not disappoint her. A hint of disgust flashed through the pupils of the golden dragon snake. The smell on this human body is really pungent and I really don't want to swallow it. But the little devil looked at it with a smile, and it didn't dare not disobey. The golden dragon snake approached slowly, and Zhu Zhu's mentality exploded. Don't come over, bitch. If you dare to kill me, my cousin won't let you go. My cousin is the disciple of the head of the Hahuan sect. Oh, the disciple of the head of the Hahuan sect. Miao Miao tilted her head. Zhu Zhu's eyes lit up, thinking there was a play. She is haughty and proud. End of this chapter. Chapter 3 Coming to your door. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 3 Coming to your door, you're scared, bitch. If you're sensible, just let me go as soon as possible. Then kneel down and apologize, saying, you're wrong. Then voluntarily withdraw from the poor ancestor's family. If you want me to be happy, 
I can also let you come and be a servant by my side. What you're thinking is really beautiful. Miao Miao gave her a sidelong glance. As for the disciple of the head of the Hahuan sect, I'm sorry, she doesn't know, and I'm afraid that's even worse. She waved her hand. Snake brother, I heard that stir-fried snake meat is very fragrant. Let's kill it quickly. It's really disgusting to face this face. The snake, which was still dragging, suddenly became serious and darted out at a speed like an arrow. With his mouth wide open, Zhu Zhu couldn't even scream before he entered the belly of a certain snake. The next day, Miao reluctantly waved his hand and bid farewell to the golden dragon snake. Don't worry, snake brother. I will come back to see you and your nephew in the future. The golden dragon snake curled its snake egg on the tip of its tail and shrank behind it. Tearful, busy nodding. Biting a small handkerchief in my heart, no, ancestor, don't come back. Then I'm leaving, snake brother must remember to think of me. Let's go, hurry up, I think you forgot about me. Miao looked at the golden dragon snake with reluctance, sighed, waved his hand, and then climbed onto the back of Xiaohua with a snort, spreading out a new salted fish cake. The upper and lower eyelids came together very affectionately. Second senior brother, I'm so sleepy. Please squint for a while and don't call me when you arrive. Moonlight sighed helplessly as she fell asleep in a second. But looking at the fifty living plants in the storage bag in his hand, he felt a little relieved. Junior sister is actually ambitious. But he didn't know that these fifty living plants were collected by his pleased junior sister who threatened a certain snake to help him. Jian Shan is towering in the sky, with thousands of forests and valleys winding in the sun. The entire sword gate is like a majestic killing sword, capable of breaking through the sky. Clouds and mist wrap around it, transforming into sword sheaths, blocking the killing intent of the spirit. As soon as he arrived at the sword gate, Moon Scar received a message from his master. Air Dan, come to the main peak with Iron Egg. The moon marks were slightly stagnant, and the master's tone seemed somewhat serious, as if something had happened. Just as I was about to ask, the Chuanin Jade in front of me had already extinguished. He frowned and looked at his sleeping junior sister, intending to wake her up. However, he called out several times without any response, so he had to take her to the main peak. Main peak hall the atmosphere was solemn, with the poor ancestor lying on top as if boneless, occasionally giving himself a sip of wine, looking very leisurely. And in the position of his side head, it is the leader of the sword sect who is crossing the mountain. At this moment, Yu Shan's eyes were sharp as he said, Master Yen Han, my Yijin sect is not easy to bully. Your Hahuan sect has repeatedly targeted my Yijin sect, and we have not argued with your Hahuan sect for the sake of face saving. But if this matter is intentionally slandered by your Hahuan sect, then no wonder my Yijin sect has torn your face. Master Yu Shan, why bother so much? You know that all the children of our sect are still children, and conflicts with your sect are inevitable. Yu Shan's face darkened. Child. A group of children over a hundred or several decades old. As for this incident, it is also related to the lives of our sect's children, so this is why our sect leader came here to inquire about it. The head of the Hahuan sect, Yen Han, raised her hand and picked up the teacup. She took a gentle sip, her eyes curved, and her whole body exuded an elegant and generous aura. Behind her stood two disciples, a female disciple and a male disciple who was shrouded in confusion. Yushan snorted coldly. They are all foxes from a thousand years old. What kind of Liao Zhai are they playing here? Who are you pretending to show this to? Just a ruthless and ruthless old witch. Time was not long, and the crescent brought Mizwa to the main peak. And Mizwa is still sleeping. In his sleep, Xiaomiao felt a pair of scorching eyes staring at her intently. That gaze looked at her with hair all over her body, as if she was being treated as prey. She was aroused and quickly opened her eyes, facing a magnified and lewd old face. Subconsciously raising his hand, he punched it over. 
Ah stinky girl, you have committed the following offense. Beating the teacher and punishing you for a month without eating. Meow Meow's confused brain instantly woke up. She blinked and met the old man with a big blue eye socket in front of her, wanting to laugh but holding back. She had a small face and sincerely apologized. Old man, why did you say you were so close to me? I didn't mean to. Next time, make sure to run fast. The old man coughed lightly, somewhat proud. Okay, for the sake of your sincere apology, the punishment will be waived. This little girl is bowing her head for the first time. Seeing the interaction between the two masters and disciples, Yushan let out a soft cough. Cough. The sound caught Yao Miao's attention. It was only then that Xiao Miao realized that she was not at the peak of poverty. This seems to be the main peak hole. Conditionally greeted the master. Hello, master. Little nephew, good. Oh, it's better to have your own child. Look at how polite this is. Yushan's cold face changed into a smile. Little nephew, let me introduce someone to you. This is the leader of the Hahuan sect. Sitting on Hua Zhu's body, Miao Miao didn't have much reaction, and she looked up slightly. A crimson veil caught the eye, revealing long legs, fair and slender, and beautiful features that were stunning and charming. Oh, she is a great beauty. Miao Miao's eyes lit up and she wanted to whistle. Damiai. Ah ba. Hello, master of the Hahuan sect. Miao waved his hand. Senior brother did indeed take in a lovely child. Yen smiled amiably, but Yen Miao noticed that her smile did not catch her eye. Come and take a look at this junior sister, but the one you know. As the words changed, the tone was still gentle, but inexplicably it carried a chill. The male disciple walked out from behind and looked up to see the face that frightened him. God knows what he went through yesterday. Being chased by a red tiger and a killer bee, he almost died in the mouth of a crocodile. If it weren't for his passing senior brother discovering him, he would probably have died in the forest of ten thousand demons like that junior brother did. He trembled slightly and dared not take any further steps forward. Miao Miao raised an eyebrow. Oh, acquaintances. So this is here to settle accounts with her. Zong 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 Zhu. This senior brother is quite familiar, very similar to one of the barbarians I met yesterday. Master, you don't know that those people are really despicable. They even used me as a lure to lure monsters. Fortunately, that monster was a reasonable person who knew I was just a victim, so it let me go and re-targeted them. Unfortunately, those few of them were too tight and all of them got into the monster's belly. Hey, this is harming others and oneself. Miao Miao let out a decent sigh, his face full of sighs. End of this chapter. Chapter 4 Angry Departure You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 Angry Departure, What? There is such a despicable person. Are you injured, disciple? The poor ancestor's face darkened, and a terrifying pressure swept across the entire hall. Of course, only the three members of the Hahuan sect truly felt this pressure. Especially the male disciple, kneeling directly on the ground with a thud, his mind trembling. Thanks to the life.saving talisman my master gave me, otherwise I wouldn't be able to come back if I were afraid. The poor ancestor finally breathed a sigh of relief. Fortunately, you're okay, disciple. Otherwise, as a teacher, I would have had to find those ancestors 18 generations to connect them. By the way, I still have the image stone that recorded the footage at that time. Do you want to see it? And this senior brother, what were you trying to say earlier? Miao Miao opened her big black eyes, innocent and ignorant. Even though the pressure has dissipated now, this male disciple still hasn't been able to get up for a long time, and his gaze at Yen Miao is like a devil. How could he not know that the other party's words were all threats, and it was indeed they who harmed the other party first? If there is a shadow stone, if exposed, it will also be him who dies. I, I want to say, 
I haven't seen this junior sister before. He lowered his head, and the cold gaze of the sect leader behind him, coupled with the cold gaze of his senior sister, made him shiver all over. Master Yen Han, you can hear clearly. The so dot called witness you brought has never seen my disciple before. The poor ancestor squinted his eyes, his dangerous gaze fixed on the leader of Yen Han's sect. So, how should we account for the fact that Yen Han's clan did not distinguish between red and white, and slandered my disciple for killing your sect's children, and even injured two of our sect's disciples when he came back? Yen Han's face was somewhat gloomy, and she coldly glanced at the male disciple. Senior brother, why bother to nitpick? Hurting those two disciples was just a lesson from them for disrespecting their elders and taking action. As for slander. Why did you say this? Junior sister just came to the sect to inquire. Yushan is almost laughing with anger. Look at what this is saying. Blame his ancestors for being so petty. Just asking. I broke into the sect, injured two disciples, and almost smashed their sect. I think so. You say you don't respect your elders, but you also don't respect your juniors. As the saying goes, respect the elderly and love the young, you don't love the young, and you blame others for not respecting the elderly. This beautiful woman is a safe moral kidnapping. Moreover, this sect leader, how can you casually slander people for killing? Do you know how much damage it has caused to my soul? I may feel depressed, self-harm, or even become obsessed with it. If there is no pressure, my sect may have to eat tomorrow. Miao covered her heart, her face full of pain, and she collapsed on the back of the flower pig in agony. The whole person is lethargic, as miserable as it is, like eggplant beaten by frost. The poor ancestor glanced at Xiaomiao and quietly gave her a thumbs up in the dark. When elders speak, how come it's your turn as a junior to interrupt? This dead girl, this is trying to deceive her in various ways. My apprentice represents me, so why can't I plug in? And I also feel that what I said is very reasonable. Even though the poor ancestor was still lazily nestled in a chair, his gaze was like a sharp ice knife, piercing fiercely into the heart of Lord Yen Han. Lord Yen Han's face turned pale and his heart was in severe pain. Senior brother, he was so ruthless in oppressing her. I used to do it for that disciple, but now I do it for this disciple. The anger and jealousy in her heart almost didn't make her explode on the spot. But the twisted expression in that moment really caught the eye of Mizumi. She was startled and patted her small chest. Mom, this beautiful woman's face change is too scary. Take a deep breath and barely suppress the killing intent that surged in the sky. Senior brother, junior sister hopes you can take good care of your beloved disciple. She'd better never leave the mountain gate, otherwise with a smile on his face, he spat out this sentence, threw out a storage ring, and left with the person. In the main hall, Yao Miao held the storage ring, so happy that he couldn't see his eyes or teeth. There are so many spirit stones. Only the extremely poor ancestors and Yushan had a gloomy face. Ancestor, in the coming period, it's better to have my nephew practice in seclusion and improve his cultivation as soon as possible. Otherwise, would you really want my nephew to stay at the mountain gate? Being remembered by that woman, even staying at the mountain gate is not safe. Otherwise, my nephew, the Qin Yin master, wouldn't have the expression on the face of the extremely poor ancestor is somewhat indescribable. Zaya Shanzi, how long has it been since your nephew entered the mountain gate? Three years. Is it because our ancestors are old and forgetful? Otherwise, how come you don't even remember the time when your disciple entered? Yeah, it's been three years, but your nephew's cultivation is still stopping at introducing qi into his body. He knew that there was something strange about this little girl, so he trusted her to go and experience it. Injecting air into the body. Is this a joke about him, ancestor? Little nephew, when he entered the door, the tested spirit root was an unparalleled single thunder spirit root masterpiece. How could it take three years for him to enter the body? You should know that at that time, 
my nephew only caused an entry, which was only ten minutes. Yushan's face was full of doubt. If you don't believe me, you can go explore it yourself. It's difficult to see how serious our ancestors are, little nephew, can I investigate your cultivation level one or two? Look, look. Miao waved his hand indifferently. Waiting for Yushan to regain his divine consciousness, his face looked a bit strange. He originally thought that the fluctuation on the surface of the little nephew's body, which induced air to enter, was a deception. But now I realize that mountains are mountains, and water is water. This, ancestor, but is my nephew in a physical condition. Yushan really doesn't want to see such a genius, inexplicably short. Lived. What's wrong with her? Her body is like a little calf, and even second. Order monsters can be punched away by her. It's just that this girl doesn't grow in cultivation, but in strength. Yushan was somewhat surprised. This performance doesn't seem to be just introducing air into the body. After being happy, Xiaomiao felt a bit sleepy again. She yawned, if the old man's okay, I'll go back. Alas, this sect mission has exhausted her and she hasn't slept for a long time. What time will you go back? Let your martial uncle take you to the sword tomb later. Every child who enters the sword sect will go to the sword tomb to choose a spirit sword that suits them. It's just that it was after reaching the golden elixir in cultivation. As for Yao Miao's special situation, he is already extremely talented and has the qualification to go to Sword Tomb early once. She's just too lazy to go these years. Without any special circumstances, even the extremely poor ancestor did not urge her. But now this little girl is being targeted. Having an additional powerful weapon to protect oneself is also good. Miao Miao's face collapsed. Old man, can we not go? She just wants to sleep. You can go if you don't want to. Miao Miao's eyes lit up. The poor ancestor's gaze was somewhat meaningful. You are not allowed to eat any food for the next month. To make a foodie unable to eat anything is like a landslide for Yao Miao. She immediately sat up straight, with a small, stern face that was extremely serious. I'll go. Whoever doesn't go, their grandson. End of this chapter. Chapter 5 Sword Tomb You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 Sword Tomb Little Nephew, this is the Sword Tomb. Master Yueshan's fingertips are sealed, opening a passage that can accommodate one person to pass through the barrier that blocks the Sword Tomb. And handed a token with a small sword engraved on it to Yao Miao. Little Nephew, this is a teleportation order. Once you find the spirit sword in your hand in the sword tomb, you can crush it and come out of it. Oh. Miao casually took the token. Dragging lazily, he slowly entered the barrier. Little nephew, remember to choose the one that suits you, but don't randomly find one. Although he has not had much contact with this young nephew in the past three years. But after only a brief encounter today, he also knows that this young nephew is a lazy person. Why don't you just say something? I'm afraid this little nephew might find it troublesome, so just pick one and come out. Miao Miao paused in his steps. Don't say, she really thinks so. Turning around, he waved his hand towards Yushan. Master uncle, I understand. You can go back. Hey, even if I pick it up casually, you can't see it. Jinjong, in its literal sense, is the tomb of the sword. It is indeed so. Sword cultivators all love swords. In their eyes, swords also contain life and are partners who fight alongside them. So every sword cultivator will carve a return talisman on the spirit sword at the moment of falling, and the spirit sword will return to the sword tomb on its own. The spirit sword has a spirit, and when the owner dies, they will fall into a deep sleep, waiting for the next generation of destined ones to awaken them. As soon as he stepped into the sword tomb, there was a darkness before his eyes. A long corridor, like an bottomless abyss. Under the dim gaze, fog appeared in the passage at some point. 
The fog is very thick. Xiaomiao didn't care at all. She looked around, found a big stone, and sat down on it. Anyway, the old man asked her to look for the sword, but he didn't say when he asked her to find it or go out. She squinted slightly, but it didn't bother her. Sitting on a large stone, Mizua leaned against the wall, her upper and lower eyelids in close contact, and soon fell asleep. And someone who was asleep did not realize that the stone wall she was leaning on was not a stone wall at all, but a monument. There are three characters on the monument, which say, Ancestor of ten thousand swords, in a daze of consciousness, Xiaomiao felt as if she had turned into a piece of mud, being casually flattened and rounded by a pair of big hands. The temperature around her was slowly rising, and she felt the heat. Subconsciously, she wanted to open her eyes, but her eyelids were heavy as if they were weighing a thousand pounds. In the dark passage, the stone tablet leaning against the back of the cave occasionally flashed with a bright light. As the bright lights piled up, the entire corridor also began to flash frequently. And where the flash lies, all stand, stone tablets one by one. At the end of the corridor, it seemed like something was slowly awakening, with waves of buzzing sounds that grew stronger like mosquitoes from the beginning. Buzzing each buzzing sound overlapped, accompanied by a crisp sword sound. Miao Miao frowned and slept uneasily, her eyelashes trembling, but she never woke up. It's so hot. It seems that the whole person is in flames. The temperature of the flame was getting higher and higher, as if it was melting her. How about the divine sword? How about the immortal sword? They don't choose me as their master, so they are all useless swords. And today, we must forge the unique ancestor of all swords in this world. A voice resembling a madman was shouting wildly in my ear. The drowsy consciousness made Xiaomiao's brain a bit sluggish. Who is so arrogant? But how ambitious! If this could truly cultivate the ancestor of ten thousand swords, she would definitely give him a thumbs up. But who is really pulling at me? Just now, she felt like she was being flattened and rounded, and now she feels like she's being pulled into a wide noodle. Suddenly, Xiaomiao felt the temperature around her body rapidly getting colder, and there was a piercing wind howling. She felt like she was flying. Ha ha ha, I have become the ancestor of our ten thousand swords. Consciousness began to become clear. Yao Miao opened his eyes and what caught his eye was a face with a scruffy beard. She couldn't see what she looked like on that face, but the madness in her eyes startled her. She leaned back and tried to dodge, only to realize that she had no legs. Subconsciously looking at herself, I realized that she had become a sword. Wan Jian, from now on, this is your name, and you will follow me to slaughter all the cholera demons in the world. As time goes by, the picture changes. Dead mountains and seas of blood, limbs and arms broken. The sky was gloomy, with extremely low cloud layers, and purple thunder mixed with blood, rolling in the dark clouds. Surrounded by fierce and greedy faces, their eyes were blazing as they looked at the sword in their white clothes in the field. Now, as a swordsman with ten thousand swords, Yao Miao can see the corpses of the demon race covering the ground, while the faces of human cultivators are all around him. A huge formation surrounded them one by one with a sword. Wan Jian, let's face the final battle together today. The hand stained with blood brushed over the sword body, and the sword body roared with bursts of blood light, emitting a demonic aura. Thunder roared like a roaring dragon, devouring them. Ah, Miao Miao opened her eyes with a flash, and the thunder landed on her body, destroying the entire sword body with the same pain that made her jump in place. Damn it, how could you have such a strange dream? Being struck by lightning. She is the successor of the socialist form in the new era and a good young man who follows the principles of three obediences and four virtues. The core socialist values are firmly ingrained in our minds and never forgotten. From time to time, I also enjoy helping others. Helping the old lady cross the road, helping the security uncle drive the dog, helping the baby find its mother although in the end, helping the old lady cross the road was unnecessary, 
helping the security uncle drive the dog, flying the chicken, and jumping the dog, and helping the little tadpole find the mother and find the toad, but how could she, such a kind-hearted person, be struck by lightning? Meow Meow bared his teeth and accidentally stumbled. He hit his head heavily on the stone tablet. Warm liquid flowed out along the cheeks. I'll go, this is unlucky. Drinking cold water can even clog my teeth. She didn't use a crow's mouth on herself. He reached out and wiped the blood off his forehead, directly rubbing it all onto the stone tablet. Perhaps it was because her body underwent a transformation while traveling, so now no matter what injury she suffered, the wound is recovering quickly. Hey, what is this? It was only then that Xiaomiao realized that the stone wall she had been leaning against was actually a stone tablet. And now the place where this stone tablet is stained with her blood is shining. The blood light instantly spread across the entire monument. Before she could react, the stone tablet exploded in front of her. Then a white figure floated out from inside. She has become familiar with this figure. It was the culprit she had dreamed of before, who caused her to be struck by lightning. Okay, she said she never dreams when she sleeps. Why did she dream inexplicably today and get struck by lightning? Emotions, it's this old man's fault. Little friend, we have met again, which shows the deep bond between us. Therefore, from today on, you will be the one to take care of the ten thousand swords. No, I. Under the thunder disaster back then, Wan Jian suffered severe damage. I hope you can take good care of him in the future. If possible, Please help Wan Jian shape his sword body as soon as possible. Can you listen to me, said Mizumi impatiently, now that my wish has been fulfilled, it's time to return to heaven and earth. Wait. Miao Miao extended Er Kong's hand and pounced forward, but it was empty. That white figure had already transformed into a little spiritual light, disappearing without a trace, while only a dark one floated in mid-air, end of this chapter. Chapter 6 Genius transforms into waste materials. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 6 Genius transforms into waste materials burning stick. Xiao Miao's little eyebrows furrowed tightly. Although Wan Jian was broken in the beginning, he still had the appearance of a sword. What is this? A dark stick. She doesn't even have the appearance of a sword, what's the use of it for her? Besides, Wan Jian is just a trouble. Listen to that old lunatic, do you still want to help him restore his sword body? Is this something she can do as a salted fish? As soon as she thought about herself rushing around to repair this broken sword in the future, unable to sleep well or eat enough, she couldn't help but shudder. Hurry up and take out the token given to her before crossing the mountain. The token shattered and a flash of light flashed by. As Mizumi teleported away from the sword tomb, the burning stick suspended in mid-air swooshed into Mizumi's sea of consciousness. The prime year does not come again, a day is difficult in the morning, timely encouragement, time waits for no one. Four years later Lingua Peak, Inua Lake, third senior brother, it's now. Hurry up, don't let it run away. Hey, junior sister, look good. Crash, got you. Little junior sister, hurry up. In a valley behind the peak of poverty, a wisp of smoke rises up. The golden flame was burning with a crackling sound, and the occasional wind blew away the heat of the flame, bringing its unique coolness. Are you okay, junior sister? Feng Ming, dressed in red, had a burning gaze, and the tear mole under the right corner of his eye seemed to glow from it. Third senior brother, don't worry. Being impatient can't make you eat hot tofu. If you want to taste delicious food, you need to be patient. Miao exerted force on her wrist and flipped over two slightly golden fish grilled on the fire. Four years ago, when she received Xiao He, who was the Ten Thousand Swords, her cultivation skyrocketed. We have reached the first level of gas refining. She thought she had hope, so she closed down for another two consecutive years. But later on, the result made Xiaomia once again realize clearly that she was not suitable for cultivation, 
so she let herself go and just let go. If you can lie down, don't sit, if you can sit, never stand. Of course, this is in addition to food. And she also became a laughingstock in the cultivation world from a genius due to her limited cultivation over the years. Even her master and Yijin sect were affected by her. Yijin sect is originally a group of sword cultivators. Sword cultivation, it's all very simple. In the words of other sects, it's just brainless, stupid. So not only did they have no aversion to the young junior sister, Miao, but they also liked her very much. From time to time, disciples go out to take on sect tasks and bring her food when they come back. Her cheat master, along with her, has a total of five disciples, and the one in front of her is her third senior brother. They can be said to have a similar odor, who would let them both be foodies. Third senior brother, could you help me take a look? I'll get the spices. Bottles, jars, and jars were poured out of the storage bag by Mizwa. He picked several types from inside, opened the bottle cap, and sprinkled them on the fish. The Silver Moon Lake was originally a spiritual lake, and the small silver fish was also a top delicacy. Now, with the added flavor of spices, the aroma is even stronger. Both of them couldn't help but swallow a mouthful of water. How fragrant! Third senior brother, it's okay, let's go. Feng Ming has long been extremely greedy. Just wait for the little junior sister's words. He was extremely fast in his hand, even leaving behind a shadow. He grabbed the one that belonged to him and took it straight to his mouth. Oh, eat well. If he had known that the precious bumps raised by the patriarch were so delicious, he would have taken action long ago. At this moment, the two are only focused on eating and have no intention of talking. In their words, during the tasting of delicious food, one should focus on it, otherwise it is disrespectful to the food. Hiccup, Meow Meow let out a hiccup, reached out to touch her bulging belly, squinted her eyes, and lay on the ground very satisfied, not caring about her appearance at all. Feng Ming also lay beside her so carefree. The warm sunshine shone through the gaps between the branches and leaves, giving them a feeling of peaceful time. Eating and drinking enough, Xiao Miao felt a bit sleepy. Feng Ming is very energetic. Do you want to play, junior sister? I won't go. Unexpectedly, this answer was obtained again. Feng Ming sat up and turned his head to look at the little girl lying on the ground. The skin is fair and slightly translucent in the sunlight. Today is a sect competition, it's very lively. A bit drowsy, Xiao Miao lifted her eyes and revealed her pair of shiny black eyes. She has some doubts. Sect comparison. Why haven't I heard of it? Feng Ming rolled his big white eyes. I knew you didn't read the message my master sent you. His junior sister is just a lazy house. I learned the word lazy house from my junior sister, and I don't know where she came from with so many new words. Perhaps junior sister's brain is quite unique. Miao sat up and didn't pay much attention. Also, didn't I think it wasn't important? Who would make that stinky old man, every time he sends her a message, besides trying to extract spiritual stones from her, deceive her into eating and drinking, there's nothing serious about it. What is the situation with the sex grand competition? Can you tell me? Xiao Miao is still a bit curious. Are you interested? Let's talk while walking. After a moment of thought, Xiao Miao nodded. Then walk. The sex grand competition is a tradition in the cultivation world, held every ten years. The simplest meaning is to hope that various sects can learn from each other and exchange ideas, allowing the younger generation to experience and broaden their horizons. And the main reason is. The secret cloud realm. The Yuyun secret realm opens every ten years, with countless opportunities inside, but it also hides a dense killing intent. The sex grand competition is to select people to enter the Yuyun secret realm. This year happened to be the turn of Ijin Gate. On the vast square, one arena after another rises from the ground. Disciples from various sects are vying to enter the arena, 
showcasing their strength. It's not very lively. On a high platform. The leaders and elders of various sects gathered here, watching the battle below, occasionally stroking their beards and shaking their heads, occasionally smiling with satisfaction, and sometimes blowing their beards and staring angrily. The One Sword sect is the main organizer, naturally sitting at the top. Poor senior brother, today is the sect's grand competition. Why didn't we see you as your disciple that day? Although it's a good thing for you to protect her, young people still need more experience to grow. Today, I brought my disciple with me, just to have a sparring and exchange feelings with you that day. The speaker is Yen Han, the head of the Hahuan sect. The voice is charming and graceful, yet also generous and elegant. It's just that the words didn't really hit my ears. As is well known, the young apprentice newly recruited by the poor ancestor, although extremely talented, can enter the school for seven years, and for three years, his cultivation has been constantly stopping at introducing qi into the body. Later, he did not know how to break through the level of qi refining, and then there was no further movement. And the head of the Hahuan sect, a genius every time he speaks, is clearly satirical and sarcastic. The gaze of other sects also looked towards this side, somewhat absent. It is not difficult to see that they have a somewhat suppressed smile on their faces. Previously, they also envied the poor ancestor for picking up such a genius, and even several sects wanted to directly snatch this genius back to their own sections. But now, genius turning into waste has caused a joke. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Otherwise you can hit me and give it a try. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Otherwise you can hit me and give it a try Yuan Tianzong was already at odds with the Jin sect, and he was happy to see the joke. Its patriarch, Yuan He, is happy and cheerful. What junior sister Yan Han said is extreme. The legendary genius, my sect leader, has been wanting to see him for a long time. The poor ancestor raised his hand and took a big gulp of the wine gourd. He frowned and the taste of the wine seemed to be not as good anymore. Alas, people who obstruct the eyes can really ruin their mood. He shook his head as if he hadn't heard them, and took another sip on his own. Looking down at the arena below, it seemed as if he was lost in thought. The atmosphere instantly became stagnant, and an awkwardness spread. I don't know who sneered, but the heads of Hahuan sect and Yuantian sect looked a bit ugly. It seems that senior brother is getting older and has poor hearing. Yen Han had an elegant and generous face, but it was already full of yin and yang. Well, I'm not as old as the sect leader, yet I'm so childish. As the saying goes, pretending to be tender. Yen Han's face turned red, with flames in his eyes. Extremely poor. Yen Han's hands were tightly clenched, and his overall aura was faint. Back then, she was humiliated by the squeeze from the master and disciple, and even falsely accused. Over the years, she has hinted to her disciples, both openly and secretly, how the Yijin sect looks down on the Hahuan sect, causing them to cause trouble for the Yijin sect. As a result, the relationship between Yijin sect and Hahuan sect became increasingly akin to water and fire. But the person she wants to die still lives well. The atmosphere on the high platform suddenly became tense. The great person and mediator of the cultivation world, the abbot of the Buddhist sect, Rukin, chanted the Buddhist name. Amitbha Buddha, benefactors, please do not be so impatient. The Buddha said. Hurt the liver and ignite the fire, sad hearts move the spirit. Buddhism ranks second to last among the six major sects, and although its talent has declined in recent years, its position in the cultivation world is unshakable. Therefore, no one will not give face to Abbot Rukin. Humph. Yen Han shook his sleeve and snorted coldly, no longer speaking. The atmosphere seems to have regained harmony. The people on the square and arena went up and down, down and up again. Below, there are disciples cheering for their own sect and mocking other failed sections. Ah ah, this senior brother is really impressive. He even defeated the senior brother of Ijin Gate. 
Of course, that's my senior brother Zhou Han. Isn't Zhou Han the one who was rejected by the impoverished ancestor in the past? I didn't expect that just a few years have passed, and his strength has even reached seven levels of qi refining. A group of disciples gathered together, seemingly whispering about popular figures in the cultivation world, but in reality, the loud voices couldn't even suppress such a noisy environment. The woman in the middle is holding her chest with both hands. She looks very bright, with heavy makeup and dark eyeliner at the corners of her eyes. That eye was filled with contempt. Poor ancestor was blind. When my senior brother begged him, he didn't accept it. Instead, he accepted a thunder-type talent. As a result, it became a joke in the entire cultivation world. You may not know. It said that the newly recruited disciple himself is a beggar. What is such a beggar? How could such a person be in our cultivation world? Isn't this tarnishing our cultivation world? It's just, it's disgusting, isn't it? There was some commotion in the crowd, and everyone's face was filled with disgust, are you not afraid? I heard that the poor ancestor doted on this disciple very much. For years ago, I heard that the demon emperor was going to harm his disciple. He even went to the demon realm and beat the demon emperor up. If the poor ancestor knew that you were slandering his disciple like this, he might not be able to do well. Someone weakly added this sentence, but the next second everyone's eyes met. That was four years ago, but now, the beggar is clearly not a prodigy. Do you think the poor ancestor would still go and help her make a name for herself? Otherwise, you can hit me and see if that old man will stand up for me. The leisurely voice, with a hint of obedience and interest, although not significant, suddenly caught everyone's attention. The crowd instinctively separated to the side. Just look at a man and a woman in the middle. The man was dressed in a crimson robe, holding a folding fan in his hand. His slightly narrow phoenix eyes were half narrowed, and under his tall nose bridge were thin lips. At this moment, his face remained expressionless, as if even the tear mole under the corner of his right eye seemed somewhat inhumane. The woman looked only twelve or thirteen years old. She was wearing a grey robe and her hair was casually tied up with a wooden hairpin to form a Taoist head. The only outstanding feature was the fair and young face with baby fat, as well as the clean eyes that seemed to see through people's hearts. The scene fell silent for a moment due to the arrival of the two people. And the bright-looking girl, at this moment, her eyes were hooked on Feng Ming's body. That gaze was extremely aggressive. Obviously, at this moment, she had already thrown her senior brother Zhou Han out of the blue. This senior brother has such a good demeanor. I don't know which sex Jinjiao he is. I have seen him as a disciple of the inner sect of the lower Hehuan sect, Zhu Jiehui. The coquettish voice became gentle and pleasant, with a hint of charm. Her eyes flickered, and now her originally pretty face is more and more brilliant. You were just saying bad things about my junior sister. Feng Ming ignored the other person's questioning and looked at her with a cold gaze. Zhu Jiehui was slightly stunned, not realizing that her charm had no response to the other party. She nibbled lightly on her red lips, her eyelids slightly drooping, and as she lifted them, a watery glow appeared in her eyes. I feel like crying. How could you wrongly accuse me, senior brother? I never knew who your junior sister was. How could you say bad things about your junior sister? Isn't it because this senior brother is stronger than me and treats me like a bully? Click Miao took out a spiritual fruit from the storage ring and bit it directly. Fresh and tender juice enters the mouth and explodes on the taste buds. She couldn't help but enjoy squinting her eyes. This snow spirit fruit has a good taste. On another day, she will have to go to fourth senior brother's place again to extort money. Swallowing the fruit flesh, watching as if they were crying or not, as if they had bullied the little girl, they reached out and interrupted her performance. Let me introduce myself. Just now, it was the beggar and useless person you discussed earlier, the person who shouldn't have appeared in the cultivation world, probably me, and the person next to me. 
Miao raised his hand and patted Feng Ming beside him. It's my third senior brother. So little sister, my third senior brother didn't wrongly accuse you. The people present were momentarily stunned, and when they realized it, each one had a slightly unpleasant expression. It's a bit awkward to speak ill of someone behind their back and be caught by their rightful owner. Even Zhu Jiehui's face couldn't help but blush for a moment. Just seeing the intimate appearance of Yan Miao and Feng Ming, a wave of unwillingness and jealousy surged in my heart. That's the person she's interested in. How dare this ugly girl get her hands on it? As the saying goes, jealousy makes people lose their rationality. Especially when she realized that the person she had just fallen in love with was the genius Feng Ming. Ken Miao's gaze became even more unfriendly, and his words just popped out of his mind. End of this chapter. Chapter 8 Not as beautiful as me. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 8 Not as beautiful as me, so what if I said it? Isn't what I said the truth? You are just a waste, you have no right to walk with senior brother Feng Ming. If you still have some self-awareness, you should consciously withdraw from the poor ancestor's family, withdraw from the cultivation world, and return to your ordinary world as a beggar the chewing action of Mizumi paused. Oh, that seems a bit familiar to me. You want to die. Feng Ming's entire body was shaken with great pressure, instantly making the surrounding silent. Zhu Jiehui's heart trembled. His face turned slightly pale. Miao Miao patted Feng Ming. Feng Ming's majestic pressure converges. Looking carefully at Zhu Jiehui's face, I realized that it was a bit familiar. Who are you, Zhu Zhu? Zhu Jiehui, whose forehead was dripping with cold sweat, felt a heartache. I just feel like my previous remarks hit cotton with a punch. Although there is depression in my heart, my attention is drawn to the word Zhu Zhu. Zhu Jiehui seemed to have a big heart and was only intimidated by the pressure of Feng Ming, but now she had already put it aside and looked disdainful. Humph, it's just a dead person. What qualifications do you have to get involved with me? As soon as she spoke, she suddenly paused as if she remembered something, and her eyes looked up and down at Xiaomiao. I heard she was killed by you. Although I and that dead girl are sworn enemies, they are still members of my Zhu family. So, dare you compare yourself to me on the arena. If you win, you will pass. If you lose, you will commit suicide on the spot. Hey, I don't dare to take the crime of murder for granted. I didn't kill her, said Mizumi as she reached out and made a stop gesture although it was my command. Zhu Jiehui snorted coldly, regardless of whether you killed her or not, I only ask you one question. Do you dare to compete with me on the arena? No. Miao shook his head firmly and vetoed. How tiring it was to go to the arena, she felt exhausted as she watched them fight from below. Zhu Jiehui frowned and clenched her hand comfortably under her sleeve. How can this dead girl complete her task if she doesn't go to the arena? The key is that Feng Ming is still here. She doesn't dare to force either. The pressure of the golden elixir period still made her feel fearful. I didn't expect that the disciple of the extremely poor ancestor would be a timid and timid person. A cold voice came with an ethereal scent. A white figure, like a graceful moon fairy, descended in front of Zhu Jiehui. Senior Sister the disciples of the Hahuan sect around them couldn't help but show admiration in their eyes when they saw the newcomer, respectfully holding their hands and bowing. Xiao Miao was a little curious, and upon seeing it, he realized that this person was the one who came to his door four years ago with the head of the Hahuan sect. However, it was not introduced at the time, so, third senior brother, who is this great beauty? The eldest disciple of the head of the Hahuan sect, Feng Ling, entered the early stage of the Golden Elixir period ten years ago and has not made any further progress since then. Also a member of the Hahuan sect, are they all such beautiful people? As if knowing what the junior sister was thinking, Feng Ming slowly added, you're not as good dot looking as me. So, junior sister, don't stick your eyes to others. 
Although the two of them didn't speak loudly, those present were not ordinary people. Which one wasn't deaf and clear? Funling's eyes darkened. For her, the lack of progress in cultivation over the past decade is a pain in her feet. I have poor talent, and being able to reach the golden elixir is already a stroke of luck. Unlike this young junior sister, who was born with a single spiritual root in the Thunder series, she is a top-dot-notch genius. As far as I know, it has been seven years since I started, and during these seven years, my strength must have reached an unparalleled level. I don't know if I was fortunate enough to invite this junior sister to spar with me. I'm not lucky, Yao Miao lazily yawned and waved his hand she shows such obvious reluctance to enter the arena, why do we have to let her enter one or two? Moreover, no one in this world knows that she is just a useless and talented person. Let her go to the arena, it's not clear how to dig a pit for her. She's not a fool, she just jumped inside in a daze. Feng Ling didn't expect that she would personally end up, but this little girl didn't give her any face. However, she is not completely helpless. If Junior Sister wins, I will give her ten top dot grade spirit stones. A hundred top dot grade spirit stones. Miao Miao extended a finger and her eyes lit up. If there is enough compensation, she can barely jump. Feng Ming looked at it without any intention of stopping. Shaking the folding fan in his hand, a smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. How could that smile be seen as malicious? But at this moment, no one noticed him. Feng Ling frowned. Although she was the senior sister of the Hahuan sect, she only had twenty top dot grade spirit stones per month. This little girl opened her mouth with a hundred top dot quality spirit stones. Is this treating her like a fat sheep? Ah, uh, indeed, he comes from a beggar background and is insatiable in greed. Okay, I promise you. Of course, if you lose, you also have to take out a hundred top dot grade spirit stones and admit in front of the six great gates that you killed my cousin four years ago. Everyone was in a uproar. They have never heard of Wind Chime having a cousin. The disciples of the Hahuan sect were even more bewildered. My cousin Zhu Zhu. Zhu Jiehui was shocked. Obviously, she didn't know either. Miao Miao raised her eyebrows, smiled slightly, and revealed two small dimples with her chubby baby face. Her bright white tiger teeth were very cute. Senior sister, I don't know who Zhu Zhu is in your mouth. It's just that our gambling commitments are somewhat unequal. If you lose, not only will you give me a hundred top dot grade spirit stones, but you will also apologize for slandering me for killing in front of the six great gates. Although the other party's demands are unreasonable. But Feng Ling agreed. She doesn't think she will lose. She is in the golden elixir period, while the other party is just a small layer of qi cultivation. She wanted to kill, like pinching an ant. Don't worry, junior sister Miao Miao. To ensure fairness, I will suppress my cultivation to the level of qi refining. The news that Yao Miao was going to compete with Feng Ling, the senior sister of the Hahuan sect, spread like a whirlwind throughout the entire square in just a moment. Even the elders and leaders of various sects on the high platform have heard of this matter. Senior brother hid the person, but the person still came out. Yen Han's tone was a bit cold, lacking the elegance she had previously pretended to be. On the arena, swords and knives have no eyes. If there is an accident, don't blame senior brother. That's not right. Just say I'm going to kill someone. The poor ancestor's gaze didn't even glance at her. I took a sip of wine and looked at the little girl with a soft expression in her eyes. Well, I'm in a good mood. On the arena, indeed, swords and knives have no eyes. Yen Han's eyebrows furrowed and his right eyelids kept twitching. I inexplicably have a bad premonition in my heart, always feeling that the words of the extremely poor ancestor are meaningful. Is it difficult? Can the little girl with a layer of gas refining still turn the tables? Yen Han sneered in her heart, afraid that she had thought too much. End of this chapter Chapter 9 Miao is an accident 
You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 9 Meow is an accident on the large square, all ten original arena competitions have now ceased. Only the middle arena has two people standing opposite each other. Everyone stared at them with burning eyes. The disciples of the Hahuan sect blushed because they had already known the outcome. This competition must be won by them. They looked provocatively at the sword sect, but to their surprise, they did not see any signs of defeat on the faces of the sword sect disciples. On the contrary, I felt that the group of people from Yijin Gate looked at them with strange eyes. Zhu Jiehui looked at Feng Ming beside her. The curvature of the corner of her mouth made her eyelids tremble. She seemed to have overlooked something, but she couldn't find the overlooked point for a moment. On the arena, Yao Miao remained as relaxed as before, and even had a great mood. He once again took out a fruit and took a bite. You can take action, he said in a vague tone for you Feng Ling, Yao Miao's indifference was a great provocation and insult. Her eyes darkened. Since Junior Sister asked me to take action first, I would be disrespectful. As the sleeves brushed past, a faint green color flew out of the opponent's hand and landed around the vast expanse. Inject spiritual power and recite the mnemonic in your mouth. A green hue rose around the water, enveloping people in the blink of an eye. The greenery spreads, with vines intertwined to form a large green cocoon. On top of the cocoon, pink and white flowers bloomed one after another. A gentle breeze blew, and the fragrance of flowers overflowed. Even across the barrier, everyone present could smell this fragrance. The fragrance rushed into their noses, causing them to feel dizzy. This is senior sister's talent fragrance, that useless firewood is doomed. Just comparing with senior sister, isn't that seeking death? A disciple of the Hahuan sect couldn't help but exclaim in surprise, his eyes shining brightly. That's not necessarily true. A male disciple of the sword sect spoke out to refute. Not everything in this world is absolute, and there are also unexpected occurrences. He held his chest with both hands, looking like an old god was present. And the disciple of the Hahuan sect, who was not far away, snorted coldly, rolled his eyes, full of mockery, she, it's just a piece of trash. There's no accident. Even if there's an accident, it's our senior sister who will win. This words reached Wind Chime's ears through the barrier on the arena. Although Wind Chime had no expression on her face, she thought so in her heart. Her talent is highly toxic and can trap people in dreams. Her move was naturally ten by ten, but her master said he wanted to kill this girl. But she can't be fair and square, so she can only take shortcuts. What does it mean to seek revenge for her cousin? It's just a foolish cousin who deserves to die. How could she possibly bother and worry? It's just for the sake of my master. The strength of wind chime is already in the golden elixir period, with deep spiritual power in its body. Even if it is suppressed to the level of qi refining, it is still unfair compared to the true level of qi refining. If there were no accidents, it would indeed be like what wind chime had imagined, and Mizwa would forever fall into a deep sleep, ultimately leading to physical death and soul extinction. But unfortunately, this is an accident. Because Mizwa himself was an accident. In front of everyone, the green cocoon made a clicking sound. A crack split the cocoon in half from the middle. Hello. A white, soft and cute little face peeked out from the crack, and her tender hand waved towards the wind chime, politely greeting her. So what? The girl's face was a bit red and twisted. Her fingertips were pulling on a vine. Cough, I didn't mean to, it's mainly because the space in the sunshade tent you set up for me is too small. I just thought to myself, let it loose. Who knew your vine was so weak, so I gently pulled it and it cracked. The scene fell silent for an instant, and the joy on the faces of the disciples of the Hahuan sect froze, even a crack appeared on Feng Ling's usually cold face. But Feng Ming couldn't help but burst into laughter. Tears of laughter streamed out. Junior sister, this is absolutely amazing. They were trying to attack her, but when they came to her, 
they ended up helping her shade the sun. Isn't this just a disguised way of saying that the other person can't do it? Look at Fong Ling's pretentious face, it's all ruined. Fong Ming's laughter caught everyone's attention. He cleared his throat and said, Sorry, I usually don't laugh unless I can't help it. After the words fell, there was another burst of laughter. She gritted her teeth tightly and paused word by word, Senior brother's disciple, no, shame, yes, heaven, talent. I wonder if senior brother can protect her for a lifetime. Obviously, she believed that the reason why Yao Miao was able to break through her disciples' natural talent was because she had protective items given by her impoverished ancestors. My disciple is indeed a genius. He received this praise. Moreover, my disciple, as long as I am here, I will naturally protect her. Not only him, but also the sword gate. Yen Han snorted coldly and stopped speaking. Should we say that they are truly masters and disciples? The wind chime, who had calmed down on the arena, thought of going with her master. Xiaomiao Jr. Sister, it's not a good thing to rely so much on the teacher. Let Senior Sister come and teach you the cruelty of the cultivation world today. The wind chime had a cold and stern tone, lifted the hem of her skirt, and sat cross-legged. Palm open, a green light quickly converges. The green light burst open, and a simple and antique chin made of green bamboo stood on her lap. Fingertips flicked the strings of the piano, and a piercing melody broke through the air and rushed towards the vast expanse. Miao stood still in place, just casually uttering a sentence. Senior sister, don't exert so much force. If you accidentally break the string, you will cut your hand. Zheng Pa did the even more piercing sound, accompanied by what seemed to be a cracking sound, made everyone's gaze converge on the chin on the wind chime's lap. At this moment, the fingertips of the wind chime were dripping with crimson blood, dripping onto the body of the chin. And the piano in front of her had already broken a string. Her face was pale, with cold sweat rolling down her forehead and a burst of crimson sweetness in her throat. This was her weapon of life. If her weapon is damaged, she herself will also be severely injured. Oh, look at what I said to senior sister not to exert so much force, this is the consequence of disobedience. Oh, I'm too kind too. Just senior sister, why are your things so weak? Have you been around for a long time? Your Huan sect doesn't seem to be short of money, why don't you have money to exchange for new ones? Miao's eyes widened and suddenly she looked like she had a sudden realization. She instinctively lowered her voice. It's just that the voice is so low that everyone present can hear it. Could it be that everything was confiscated by your sect leader? Are you such a stingy sect leader? Senior sister, why don't you come to our Ijin sect? Our Ijin sect has such good treatment, just like when I first apprenticed, I even gave money in room packages to become immortals. Although the money she sent has not arrived yet, although the house she sent is just a leaky thatched cottage that has become an immortal, and although she is still only refining her qi to this day. End of this chapter Chapter 10 Senior Sister, Be Careful of Falling You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 Senior Sister, Be Careful of Falling However, Xiaomiao felt that as a disciple of Yijin sect, he had the responsibility to help recruit personnel for Ijin sect. She is really a responsible disciple, putting in a lot of effort for the sect. I'll go find the main disciple to pay for the hard work later, he he. Boldly, P.U., cough cough cough. Feng Ling was so angry that she just spat out two words. She couldn't hold back a mouthful of blood and spat it out directly. The beauty vomited blood and her face turned even paler, adding a touch of softness to her previously cold feeling, which immediately made many men's eyes ache. It also caused Mizwa to receive one eye attack after another. Is this the genius disciple of the One Sword sect? It's just that. If I can't fight, then I can't fight. I have to attack myself, it's like losing face as a cultivator. I've lost my face, isn't it shameless? The cold gaze of the wind swept past. 
The several male disciples of Yuan Tianzong who were originally planning to pack up the beauty unfairly, suddenly had their words stuck in their throats, trembling and afraid to speak. Senior sister, you've vomited blood now. Why don't you just give up? Otherwise, it's really difficult for me to take action against you. If I win, wouldn't that mean I'm invincible? Although my reputation is not good, no matter what, I am also a disciple of the One Sword sect. Everyone prospers and everyone suffers. I don't want outsiders to say that my One Sword sect is invincible. Miao Miao's face was wrinkled into bitter gourds, and her eyes were filled with worry and entanglement. If it weren't for Feng Ling's caring gaze, she would have thought she was a good junior sister who cared about her senior sister if she hadn't known that she was all thanks to her now. Her eyes were cold. She is not foolish, how can she not know that she has been caught in a trap, how can she not know that there is another world on this useless material? Even so, she cannot give up. If she doesn't win today, she and the Hahuan sect will become the laughing stock of the cultivation world. Xiaomiao Jr. Sister, I underestimated you, but it's not over yet. Since her own weapon cannot be used, she doesn't need it. With a wave of her big hand, her life weapon disappeared, and her agile figure, like a flying swallow, rushed towards Mizwa with a swoosh. Xiaomiao's figure retreated as she couldn't help but speak. Senior Sister, Please slow down. You just vomited blood and can't exercise vigorously. As her figure approached, Feng Ling's palm was covered by a green spiritual power. Senior sister, don't come over again. I have nowhere left behind. If you come over again, you might accidentally fall off. Put on, oh my, I already said it would fall off. Senior sister, are you okay? Miao crouched at the edge of the arena, stretching his neck to look down. Under the arena, a white figure fell gracefully to the ground, still facing down. The wind chime struggled to get up from the ground. That face is a complete blow. Anger made her face look a bit grim, with two bloodlines under her nose, and the blood was continuously falling onto her collar, staining the spot with a blush. Her eyes were sinister, and she had an extra long sword in her hand at some point. The sword was raised and aimed at Xiao Miao. The tip of the sword shimmered with a chilly light in the sunlight. The dead girl is you. What is senior sister talking about? Xiao Miao blinked innocently. What is this senior sister talking about? Why doesn't she understand anything? Ah, dead girl, you're looking for death. At the moment when the long sword was wielded, her whole body's breath shook, and her cultivation, which was originally suppressed to the level of refining qi, instantly climbed to the early stage of the golden elixir. Under the pressure of authority, the long sword sounded like a wind-breaking sound, pressing straight towards Mizumi's neck. I think the person who wants to die is you. When, the sound of the clash of gold and iron was deafening. A crimson figure protected Xiao Miao behind her. Feng Ling's long sword in her hand was suddenly lifted off guard, and she also had a sharp weapon on her neck. The sword, emitting a chilling killing intent, was placed on Feng Ling's neck. As long as the owner of the sword exerted a slight force, a blood mark would instantly appear on Feng Ling's neck. The coldness of the iron sword instantly cooled into Feng Ling's heart, causing her to temporarily lose her rational brain due to anger and restore clarity. But when she realized what she had done, her body stiffened. Subconsciously looking up towards the high platform, she met her master's ugly expression and felt a thump in her heart, with no blood on her face. Today is truly an eye-opening day. Is it true that your Hahuan sect does not follow the rules like this? You fell out of the arena yourself and even resented my junior sister. You wanted to kill my junior sister. Why, do you think I Feng Ming has no temper? The smile that Feng Ming often carried at the corner of his mouth disappeared at this moment. Although his tone was very calm, the killing intent contained in it made everyone present feel a little chilly. It was also at this moment that the crowd suddenly remembered that Feng Ming was a madman. Remembering the final fate of those who once provoked him, 
the person who was originally thinking about whether or not to save the beauty with a hero, let go of his heart. There are also those who are not satisfied with the wind chimes, and they are happy to see this scene come to fruition. The wind chime opened its mouth but had nothing to say. She knew in her heart that her repeated accidents must be related to that dead girl. But she had no evidence, nor did she feel any spiritual fluctuations on the other person, and they were still competing. And she is indeed on the wrong side. For a long time, she held back such a sentence, how are you doing? Apologize to my junior sister and fulfill the bet, isn't that excessive? If you're not willing, I can use my own method. He adopted this plan for the sake of the sex reputation. And his own method, since the other party wants to do something, then double it back. Miao didn't expect this unremarkable third senior brother to have such a domineering and reliable scene. How about it, senior brother? Are you super handsome? How are you compared to the other senior brothers? Feng Ming, with a cold face, softened her face and spoke with extra liveliness as she turned to face her own junior sister. The face, which looked cold and aloof when it stood on the board, now paired with those sparkling eyes, inexplicably had a hint of, cough cough, a silly smell. Well, senior brother San is the most handsome. Adhering to the principle that whoever is in front of her must say good things to her, Xiaomiao gave a heartfelt compliment. It's just a silly smile, like a silly one. She didn't say this sentence. Otherwise, it might be another scene. Junior sister has a good eye, keep it up. Everyone watched helplessly as a face change occurred. With a friendly expression towards my junior sister, I turned around and saw another cold and murderous intent. This has made many people envious, jealous, and resentful of Yen Miao. Even in Foam Ling's eyes, a hint of jealousy inevitably flashed. What are you looking at? It's not your junior sister. Feng Ming stood in front of Xiao Miao like a guardian calf, blocking people tightly. Have you selected it yet? Feng Ming became a bit impatient. He doesn't want to face this cold face, he just wants to see his soft and obedient junior sister. End of this chapter